today we are at one of actually the most insane spots in Illinois. It's a little trout and smallmouth stream. Super beautiful. John B. actually did a video here way back in the day. Uh, and it was like one of his more popular videos. They caught a lot of smallmouth and some trout too. Yeah, I actually brought the fly rod today that I almost never use. I kind of rigged it there wrong and then the handle broke off and there's a pencil on it. Oh, there's a snake in the water. Hold on. There you go. Alana likes snakes. They're so cool. Yeah, well, I rigged my fly rod wrong and I, it took me forever, so I'm not going to redo it. I have a pencil there because the handle broke off. Using these little poppers on it, really want to catch a fish on one of those. I think they look super cool. And then I have like a micro twitch bait on my other rod, a little ultralight. Let's catch some fish. How cold is this water going to be? Oh, this is going to be ice. Dude, it's so clear. Let me back up because there might be fish there. I'll throw the ultralight first. Lana, you go ahead and throw in too. There's like a rock shelf right over there. Drops off into probably two and a half, three feet deep water. Okay, I'm going to try the fly popper and see if I can like even use this thing. Jeez. Here, watch. Oh my gosh. I... Jeez, I like slapped the water with it so hard. That was like a little better. Get some little bloops with it. We might catch something on that. I think I'm the worst fly fisherman ever. I'm actually horrible at this. Oh, Alana's got a fish. Okay, nice, nice. Heck yeah. Ooh. Nice. Hi, little dude. Okay, that was a good cast, I feel like. Okay, guys, I'm going to be real. I think two rods is, like, very difficult to hold on to and stuff. Yeah, hey, I'm going to... I'll be right back. Oh, Alana caught a fish. Smally or creek chub? Nice. So, before we leave, I'll use a fly rod again, but for now, ultralight only. Good Another job. Smally, smally. <laughs> Another small smally. Small smally. There are rainbow trout in here and they got stocked, I want to say about a month ago, maybe. It'd be cool to catch one of those. We're not like necessarily targeting those though. We're more so just like targeting smallmouth. But if we catch a trout, I'll be stoked. Cause I don't think I've, I've never caught a trout in Illinois. As far as Illinois goes, this is like one of the state's craziest spots. Granted, it's like almost not Illinois. I would be using like a little weedless jig, but I just want to catch a trout so bad. So I'm using a minnow bait. Trout is like, you know, the goal. That is so cool to see these landforms in Illinois. Can you shut up, Canadian goose? I'm not even chasing this thing. We just need to walk that way. Full-blown panic. Yeah, look at that. Like, how is this Illinois right now? We got some more people fishing down there. Just keep chasing it. Goodbye. Where are you fish right here? Got one. Got him. That's an absolute giant, guys. An absolute giant golden. Oh, it's a golden shiner. That's the first new species alert, or maybe it's a roach. I don't even know. New species alert, possibly. I'll have to Google it and find out what this thing is. I think it's either a roach or a golden shiner. I really don't want to touch him, to be honest. Okay, there he goes. All right, guys, I'm on the board. Oh, now Alana's got one. What do you got? Smalley? Roach? Smally. Little smallmouth slayer queen over here. So far, it is living up to its reputation in terms of numbers of fish. Another small folly. Bye, little dude. Good job. Good job. This is a good spot. I'm pretty sure I saw a YouTube video of guys, like, just catching trout after trout off these uh, rocks on the other side here. Oh my gosh, I just scared a fish off. 
Is that a dead fish down there? What? Is that a dead fish down there? Looks like it. You wanna go get it for dinner? No. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I've caught a small mouth. I'm very surprised at the, granted they are small fish, but I'm very surprised at the numbers of fish we're catching this close to the parking lot. Uh, that tells me it's gonna be even better the further away from the parking lot we get. Okay, got him unhooked. First small mouth for me. See ya, dude. There we go. Another one. It's fighting a little harder. Small mouth, just a little bit bigger than the last one on the twitch bait. Dude, the hooks on this are so thin and so sharp. Very difficult to remove. Got him. See you, dude. All right, this is a lot of small fish. We need to keep moving because we have not much time until the thunderstorm. It was like super hot and now the weather is just getting really, really nice. Pretty soon it's gonna be hail and lightning. But yeah, we're waiting. First wet wait of the year, that's fun. It's May, so it's finally time for that. I'm so behind on editing though, by the time you guys see this, it might honestly be June. All right, we'll do one more cast here and then go down under that little hydraulic jump over there. All right, anything sitting in there? Maybe a rainbow trout? I've seen some really nice trout get caught out of here. Somebody uploaded a video, they caught like, uh, I think it was probably two pounds. I mean, it was a nice trout, which is not big at all. The Rainbow World Record trout is like 40 pounds or something. But, you know, for being a just a little stalker trout stream in Illinois, that's pretty nice. Throw a cast from this angle down through the deep spot. Got a rock. Got one. Oh, that's big. That's big. Trout maybe? Trout maybe? Maybe not big, but that's like probably, hopefully a pound. It is a trout, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a trout. Yes! Guys, that is so exciting. Oh my gosh, it happened. It happened on the Twitch bait. Beautiful Illinois rainbow trout. That is my first ever Illinois rainbow. That's my first ever Illinois trout of any kind. Let me get this man's unhooked here. I'm gonna wet my hands as one does for a trout. Okay, I did bring forceps. Looks like I am gonna need those now. Okay, got them unhooked with the forceps. Always bring your forceps if you're trout fishing. That is an Illinois rainbow, guys. How often does that happen? Check that out, guys. See ya, dude. There he goes. Nice. Just talking about that, I wanted like one rainbow and we're like 15 minutes in and I caught a rainbow. Three species, smallmouth, rainbow, and golden shiner maybe. There we go, baby. I, ca I gotta put the name of this on screen. It's a rebel twitch bait in this little like hydraulic jump spillway thingy right here. You know what's crazy too, is we're literally right by the parking lot. I mean, you can see all the other people fishing over there. And like the fact that there's people everywhere fishing, we're right by the parking lot. And I'm, I still just caught a nice trout and we've caught a bunch of smallmouth. And Alana's got one right now. This place is, this place is insane. This is probably one of like the like gem fishing spots of Illinois. Nice, nice. Got one. Feels decent-ish. Small mouth, I think, by the way he's fighting. Yep. That's the biggest small mouth of the day for sure. Not a big small mouth by any means, but a small mouth. See ya, dude. We do want to explore more of the park, so we're gonna we're gonna be careful to not stay here for too long, even if we just keep catching little smallies and stuff. I seriously can't believe I just got an Illinois stream rainbow. I think in John B. and Parrick's video, which for the record is the only reason I'm here, because that looked like so much fun, and I was like, holy cow, that place is in Illinois, seriously? I think in that video they only caught two rainbows, or maybe one rainbow the whole time, and it was smaller than that one. But they caught a lot of smallmouth. Yeah, it was. Granted, I don't... 
I don't know if they get too much smaller than that, just because like the stalkers are a preset size. All right, we'll do like one or two more casts here and then we're gonna move a little bit. Are you cutting me? I might have, I just got bit, I got bit again. Oh, I, I saw him bite it. This looks exactly like the videos I see of people like trout fishing in New Zealand. Tiny little super, super clear creek with a giant bluff wall. Okay, this is probably, yeah, this is as far as we're gonna go up this creek. All right, you wanna go downstream? I'm gonna make a cast right at the point here. Oh, those guys are fly fishing. I tried to do that for a second. You know, honestly guys, I think we're more likely to catch fish in the moving water because in the still water, the fish have so much more time to analyze the bait and determine if it's like fake or real. So let's, let's not even waste our time in the still water. You guys think, you think they're living in the fast water right here? Trout do, they live in fast water. Let's throw over it and let the lure run down through the jump there. No, we are, we're gonna be fishing pretty quick today. I mean, we only have like at this point, probably an hour, hour and a half left. This is a cool little like three foot deep area right in front of us here. <laughs> nice cast. I got that on camera. Alana's hooked up. Little small mouth. They all have a very similar pattern. Yeah. I guess as one would expect being in the same river. Nice, nice. Now, if only we could get a smallmouth that was like more than a pound. I can't be greedy though. I already caught a nice rainbow. If I catch nothing but tiny dink golden shiners for the rest of the day, totally fine. I caught a rainbow. We got a front rolling in. They should be biting. Could just be a matter of putting it right in front of his head. Something just surfaced right there in the middle. Do you see that fish just eat right there? It's hitting stuff on the surface. See the ripples going outward? I got hit right here and I've seen multiple flashes. There are absolutely fish right here. Hopefully they'll eat what's on our menu. He just bit it. There he is. There he is. It's a trout. Oh, come here, another Illinois trout. I told you, I saw him eating right there. Similar size on him. Okay, he came unhooked in the net, we're good. Maybe not, guys. Illinois rainbow. See ya, dude. There he goes. I just saw another flash. Dude, you gotta fish more to the left. Oh, there you go. Look at me telling Alana what she's doing wrong and then she hooks one. Though to be fair, I think that's where the trout were. I know there's smallmouth in there too because I saw a gold shimmer on one or two of them. I'm gonna get a great camera angle here. Here babe, you wanna come down more and fish? Oh, you have one. What'd you get? A little bigger. Nice. Okay. Hi, buddy. Nice. This is a good little spot. We can see lots of fish hitting uh, surface bugs, I guess. Oh, oh there you go. Nice. I didn't even have to reel. That's about the same size as the last one. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Well, Alana is catching the high quality 10 inches. I'm going to let your fish go now. There he goes. We are still like so close to the parking lot. I'm kind of shocked we're catching this many fish. And it's a Sunday too. It's a weekend. Like, you know? It's pretty fun using a twitch bait. I don't think I've ever used a twitch bait before. Well, a twitch bait looks more realistic because it doesn't have a lip. It's very similar to a jerkbait, but a jerkbait you get more like 
violent jerks, like left, right. I was pretty excited about this one. Oh, you got a good one? No, my drag just cut really well. Hey, that's not bad. Aww. Oh, no, he he was just hooked in the top of the head. You think he bit that? Yeah, oh, he definitely bit it. Yeah, people like this, they'll automatically think it's a snag, but if the back, here, let me see, don't unhook it. If the back trouble's up there and you rotate the lure, it would have bit it like that. Just like the, the front treble would have been right in there. So the front treble was there and then the back treble got hooked and that made the front pop out. But yeah, he definitely bit it. Now, if the front treble has it on the top of the head, then it was probably a snag. But if back treble on the top of the head, that means a bite. The more you know. The more you know. Hi, buddy. You're typically with a, with a jerk bait or a crank bait, mm -hmm. you're not gonna snag with the back treble. Mm -hmm. Cause you gotta think the bait is going nose down in the water. Right. So like the, the front treble is always the first thing that's gonna be there. Got one, decent. Decent, I think that's the best smallie of the day. Ooh. He's a fighter, wow. Can you film this? Yeah. Well, not huge. <laughs> there we go. Easily the best smallie of the day. Oh, he annihilated that, wow. Definitely the best smallie of the day. Not to say it's big, but it's nice. I, uh, I like it. I need my forceps. He did absolutely annihilate that thing. Annihil? He did annihilate that thing. He's hooked in the tongue, so when I pull this out, he's gonna bleed, but maybe not. He was barely hooked with that thing. Nice fish. There he goes. Oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, acrobatics. Doubled up on a Sunday. Oh, I got a trout. I got another trout. Come here. I think the trout like this lure because it's like smaller and more realistic and less like crazy. Like bass go for crazier stuff. Trout are more like finesse. Should we keep that one? We're not gonna keep it. Oh, okay. Hi. Quick release. Do you just wanna keep fishing here? Sure. You wanna go get the fly rod? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm running to the car to get the fly rod. I guess it's a truck, not a car. I'm running to the truck to get the fly rod. Where are you going? Alana said she saw lightning, so we're gonna leave pretty quick here, but I'm just gonna throw a couple casts with a fly rod. I'm so bad at this. All right, one more cast. That wasn't it, that wasn't it. Okay. All right, guys, I gave the fly rod a good effort. All right, guys, the rain's picking up here pretty good. That was only two hours of fishing. For two hours of fishing, that was pretty dang nice. Three rainbow trout, my first ever in Illinois. Very excited about that. And they were like in a stream. I know like they're still stalkers. So obviously it's not as cool as like wild trout, but hey, stream trout greater than stocked pond trout. And they look nice. Stalkers usually look really like beat up. Those fish look pretty nice. But yeah, we had a great time. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please do me a favor and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.